from CNN. A spokesman for Manhattan U.S. Attorney's Office says he regrets comments criticizing Trump hush money case because he got caught. Um, for those of you who don't know, the Louder with Crowder team got this dude undercover. Um, the, the honeypot worked again, and he basically said that, uh, well, we'll read the article. Um, he regrets saying it only because it became public. A spokesperson for the Manhattan U.S. Attorney's Office apologized following the release of a secret, secretly recorded video that captured him slamming Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg's hush money case against Donald Trump as nonsense and a perversion of justice. And again, he only regrets it because now it's causing a lot of problems, a lot of political problems. He's, a, he's allowed to think it privately. But now his bosses look bad because they brought in a, an election interference case against a former and future president, possibly, specifically to interfere in that election and prevent him from becoming president and made a political prosecution out of the case. As this guy stated on tape, of course, he re regrets it. Um, that, obviously, he regrets it. Nicholas uh, Bias, uh, chief public information officer for the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York, said in a statement, I was recently made aware of a video where I regretfully made some statements in a private and social setting that don't reflect my views about two local and state prosecutions. Then why did you say them? These don't reflect my views, but I said them. The statement was previously reported by the New York Post. Uh, BS's statement about the case, which is uh, outside of the office's jurisdiction, came hours after conservative broadcaster Stephen Crowder released a uh, secretly recorded, edited. All videos are edited. All videos are edited. They're trying to, they didn't say deceptively, but they want you to think that he did it deceptively. Uh, of conversations between Bias and an unidentified woman that Crowder said uh, occurred in July and August. Crowder is a conservative political commentator and a host of the Louder with Crowder podcast, whose previous channel on YouTube was suspended multiple times for violating YouTube policies. Yeah, that doesn't mean that what he's saying is necessarily false, though. This is what you call poisoning the well. The video was released by Crowder's Mug Club, a group with a known political agenda. CNN also has a known political agenda. Everybody has a known political agenda. Okay, maybe not everybody. Honest people have a known political agenda. I don't believe unbiased journalism is a thing. I don't think it's possible. I would rather make my biases known and then report uh, report what I see and give my opinions about it. Because then if you know what my biases are going in, you're going to know whether or not you agree with me. I'm not stating things as objective truth all the time. There are going to be things that I state as objective truth. I might be wrong. But as we had at the conversation with the chat earlier, I'm going to state things that I have learned, my opinions on those things, and be willing to change my position if it turns out I'm wrong. Um, let's see. While Bias said in the video he has known Bragg for 15 years, he does not work for Bragg or the Manhattan DA's office and was not involved in the hush money case against Trump. I said those things in an effort to please and impress someone I just met who was secretly filming me. To please and impress. Doesn't make a lot of sense. So which is it? Do you consistently lie to dates to get laid? Or do you believe it and you're backtracking because you're afraid you're going to get fired by the Biden administration because you work for the Biden administration and Merrick Garland is coming for your ass now? Because those are the only two options that I see. I am deeply sorry to the state or to the local and state law enforcement officials working on these matters who deserve more respect than I showed them. I should have known better. Sure, okay. Bragg doesn't deserve a single modicum of respect. He's a piece of shit. In the recording, which has been edited into short sound bites, you know, the pieces that are relevant, but you could probably see the context in other places as well. 
Uh, Biaz can be heard saying the whole thing is disgusting. They're just out to get him, referring to Trump. Yeah, everybody's known this for a while. Uh, Biaz claimed in the video that Bragg was stacking charges and rearranging things just to make uh, make it fit a case. He continued, to be honest with you, I think the case is nonsense. That's been stated by right-wing media since the charges were initially filed. That was basically stated by Bragg when he initially decided not to prosecute before he changed his mind and decided to prosecute a year and a half ago. CNN has not independently obtained or verified the video. We're not going to do the research. We're just going to say that don't watch it because we think Crowder is bullshit and we, we're just going to have you take our word for it without any amount of research. CNN has reached out to the U.S. Attorney's Office for Southern District of New York, the Manhattan DA's Office, and the Justice Department in Washington, D.C., but they didn't bother to reach out to Crowder. The judge overseeing the hush money case has uh, informed both Trump and the Manhattan DA's office that he will render his decision on Friday about whether to delay Trump's sentencing uh, date, which I reported earlier today, uh, is delayed until after the election. Uh, according to the court filing, the former president is currently scheduled to be sentenced on September 8th. Now it's November 26th or sorry, September 18th. Uh, but Trump asked to delay the sentencing until after Election Day, a request the Manhattan DA's office did not oppose. Bragg charged Trump in April uh, of 2023 with uh, 34 felony counts of falsifying business records, alleging that Trump sought to undermine the integrity of the 2016 presidential election through a hush money scheme uh, as part of an unlawful plan to suppress negative information about him. Trump was found guilty on all 34 charges in May, and we don't have enough time to go over why all of that is bullshit. 